Good morning ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another day of the video diary and it's a Friday today and today has been already very go go go. Firstly, it is bloody freezing. It took me ages to get out of bed this morning because it's so goddamn cold. I cannot wait until the um the what's I'm gonna do hick is all um what <laughs> the boiler is and the heating is timed so it can go off before I get up because my god is it cold in the morning. Um and it's cold now as well. It's lit it's basically coat temperature but then you've got to carry around a coat with you all day which is less than ideal to be honest with you uh, so um yeah I've got my scarf I've got my my smaller scarf as well um, because it'll be able to fit in my bag better and I think after the morning it's gonna warm up a bit but the mornings here are so bloody cold but otherwise it's a relatively okay day except for the fact that the rest of today is going to be horrendously busy with like loads and loads of lectures and seminars and only one hour break yeah so this morning i made myself some cereal had some tea had some um juice um red grape actually it was really nice um and i am um, i made myself some sandwiches and i headed off to university yeah which is what i'm doing now i'm gonna catch myself a bus <sighs> try not to freeze in the process and probably end up taking a coat next time because I'll just have to deal with it. Deal with lugging around a great big coat all the time. My coat's too big and I'm not buying another one. <laughs> I friggin' well love that coat. I just want to get to the stage where I know I can comfortably wear it all day. Except obviously inside. And then I'll take it. <sighs> right. Because every now and again it just suddenly gets hot for no reason. So, we've got a group coursework meeting. We need to think of an interactive project we can do. Um, that's at 10, well it started at 9, but there's like a two hour timetable gap but we're like, right, turn up at 10 guys. Because we know we're going to turn up, do 20 minutes worth of talking and then just piss off. So, yeah, we've got that. Then a lecture, then another seminar, then another seminar, then a lecture, I think. Oh, fun, fun, fun. And we're heading back now. I say we're heading back, we're almost home now. Just got to go, gone, walked down the hill, I've now just got to walk back up the other side of the hill uh, to get home. Bloody hell. Oh, I'm telling you, this bag friggin' saving my back right now. Because if I had that little side thing banging on my leg all the way down, Jesus. So yeah, bloody hell, eh? Today, it's really annoying actually, it's a really horrendous day for lectures and stuff. Because I know I can be like, oh, but then my, from the beginning of the week isn't actually that bad. Like Tuesday and Wednesday are actually legitimately good days. But it's really irritating. Because now after like, on a Friday, you've just done a horrendous amount of work and stuff at uni. And then got to go home and do more work. And then Saturday morning, loads more work, then go to work. Ah, oh, it's just so stressful. I wish it was the other way around that I'd have like Friday and Saturday off and everything else in the middle of the week, you know? So when you get to the end of the week, you're like, ah. I've basically just got to move when I have my weekend. And have my own weekend. Jesus Christ. But yeah, otherwise though, today has been relatively all right. Uh, been a bit like lecture, 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 lecture. No stops for the wicked and all that crap. But otherwise, blimey. Yeah, it's just freaking me to hills, this place. Yeah, we did about, um, we had programming in the morning. Uh, we did about pointers and stuff. Um, what else did we have? What are the lectures? Maths. Well, we did more about mathsy kind of stuff and then we had a couple of seminars uh, group coursework stuff we've got a plan for our group coursework our integrated project we know what our project's going to be we've just got to literally bullet point our proposal find out if it's going to be enough do it and then we're planning on moving on so we're going to move on to the next stage two weeks in advance because last year we got crippled when loads of coursework hit at the same time and the same is going to happen this year so we're moving on while we still can um, which is why we're spending so much time and attention doing coursework that I've already got. So that that way, it's not a problem, you know? Um, ah, that's where that goes. Is that shorter? It might be to work, but uh, ah, probably not actually. Don't be stupid, cause it's... So yeah, I'm really glad that my group is the kind of group where every time they've, that they've done group coursework, they've kind of been like crapped on by another group. The first time I did my group course, like, it was horrendous. I didn't manage it, I let someone else manage it, and I was like, I'm just gonna be quiet, try and make friends with everybody. Fuck that shit. You go there to get a grade, you don't go there for friends. 
So it's literally, you just gotta be ruthless. I'm just like, this is what we're doing, we're doing this, this, this. And they're all like, yeah, this is really good. And they're all like, yeah, we'll do that, that's brilliant. And I'm like, yes, you guys. So if anything, I'm not even managing, right? It's kind of like joint decisions and stuff. Although the project was my idea, and it's a uh, money manager app that doesn't, that does, it's basically a glorified spreadsheet, to be honest. But it doesn't go into your bank account and take your bank account details and then fetch over the internet. It's literally all localized on one app. And then it just does calculations based on your budget, figures out like what categories in which you're spending money on more than you should do, figures out how you can do student budgets and stuff like that. And I've got a to-do list for the entire group. And we're laughing, really. It's gonna be really good. So I've got quite a bit of, um, in fact, I need to step up a to-do list of all the things I need to do because I've got quite a lot of work, actually. And time jump, uh, I wrote my to-do list and I figured out all of the things I needed to do and I was doing all those things so that you could come back and I'd be like, hey, here's my to-do list and I finished it, lol. But tonight has actually been a really too ridiculously stressful thing. Stressful night and it's stress, I'm stressed. Basically, I need to de-stress and I said I was gonna have a glass of wine tonight to try and relax and I didn't because I always forget and then it stressed me out. And, uh, so. Yeah, but I've written out my to-do list. It's very big. It's very, it's a very long to-do list. It spans over three days, which is now going to be a little bit harder as well because um, tomorrow, um, what? No, because tonight's homework. The uh, tonight's homework uh, work schedule didn't particularly go to plan. Um, but otherwise, uh, I've got sort of I've sorted out my maths now, so it's all completely nicely written up and everything. Um, it's all completely written up. All of the answers are correct, and I'm happy with all of them. I'm ready to hand it in. All I need to do is scan it so that I've got my own copy because I want to keep a copy for my notes so that I can keep all of my like example answers and stuff like that because they won't give you one back anymore. Um, but then otherwise, I was playing around with my computers <laughs> because. This is what we friggin' do, computer science. Every year, we have to install this piece of software. And then installing this piece of software takes fucking ages. And it's like next to impossible and it pisses me off. And it's ridiculously just stressing me out. And then, oh, did I install QT onto this? And I got it all sorted and I was like, right, damn it. Now I need to go get the files from the university service because I've already done half of this work on, on campus. Um, attempt to access the VPN, the VPN doesn't work, it won't let me attach to the VPN so I can't get my files off the campus, which is a freaking ball ache. It only seems to work when I'm on campus with Edu Room on my laptop. That's the only way I see Edu Room with my university internet. That's the only way I seem to be able to get it. I can't get it anywhere else in the friggin' world. So that stressed me out because that means I couldn't be, I wasn't able to do that and that means I couldn't have actually tested what I wanted to do because it was coming up with error messages and I didn't know why it was coming up with error messages because the questions it gave us were all crap. The worksheet and the tutorial sheet came with a list of fixes for the worksheet slash tutorial sheet that was longer than the actual worksheet slash tutorial sheet and it didn't make friggin' sense. And the same problem that I had while I was there in the lab, I had again here and I forgot what I did and I tried to access my files so that I could figure out what it was that made me fix it and I couldn't because I don't know. <sighs> so yeah, that failed. Uh, otherwise though, I thought, I know, I'll go and do some C. I'll go and do some C programming. So I. I load up um, Ubuntu. No, I, well, I didn't. I loaded up Visual Studio. Well, that's Visual Studio is a little crap. Um, <laughs> Jesus. I uh, went into Ubuntu and started programming in there, which is probably be the better way in a way, doing it through text files and then compiling it through blah, 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 blah. Uh, and it's a lot better than Windows because then you don't have to install a crappy little C, C, little C, com C compiler, which is a bitch. So that's stressing me out. And then I get in and then I'm like trying to figure out exactly which one I'm on Ubuntu to do because all my questions are saved on Microsoft OneNote on one of my computers. So I've got both computers on an attempt to fix it. I then discover that the friggin' sound driver on my laptop is crap, so whenever I plug headphones in, it's literally like the tiniest of sounds. Like, it's not even a sound, even on 100% volume, it's not even a friggin' sound on both headphones, on both um, bloody... <sighs> so then I was trying to fix that, I couldn't figure out a fix for that, it's still broken, I can't figure out a fix for it, it's just freaking retarded. I've completely like uninstalled my sound card, to completely well, not card, sound drivers, completely did it all again, it's all... So that stressed me out, and then Lovely's come. So always comes down to Lovely, doesn't it? Lovely's gone out tonight, and then she's like going around, like stressing me out. But otherwise, I'm staying up waiting for her, and she's still she's still out. It's now one o'clock in the morning, half past one, and I need to go to bed because tomorrow I'm basically going to go up at seven o'clock because I'm going to work at one, which means I've got to do some work in the morning, and it's just go 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 go. And I wanted a glass of wine to relax, and then I didn't realise I'd completely forgotten about it, and by 11 o'clock it's way too late to have a glass of wine on your own. And then everyone in the flat's watching DVDs next door, and I'm like, mm, I'm just trying to do work. Can you tell us, Sam? Can you tell the stress levels in this room? It's 
freaking intense, man. Ah. Oh. Jesus Christ. So, I need to go to bed. I'm, like, cruising on next to no friggin' sleep. There's the freaking it. Ah, <sighs> but they... Oh, yeah, there's, there's one of those programs. I was actually bloody freezing. So my fingers didn't work. It was that cold. So I put the bloody heat on. I'm warming my pyjamas up and my bed up with them. So I get in, into bed and it's nice and warm. It doesn't even feel hot, though. Oh, my God. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to bed. And it's Saturday tomorrow, and I'm getting up at 7 o'clock in the morning. Hey. Because I need to do work before going to work, and that means I've got to be at work for 8 hours. And then oh, I need to wake up in a much cheerier mood than this, so I'm going to freaking commit suicide at work, I swear to God. So yeah, basically everything's gone wrong tonight, with the, with the exception of, of finishing off my maths coursework, which was already finished, so don't go glorifying it, making out you're all clever by doing shit like that. Um... Downloading the graphics thing, yeah, I downloaded it. I don't know if it works because I can't get a program that actually does something on it because I can't get onto the university's VPN to get the programs, uh, get the first lab sheet working. We need the VPN for uh, programming a couple of things in C. Um, I could have done, but then I got distracted by the fact that my laptop doesn't work. So I now need to move all of the other things over. I know Spotify, just shut the frick up, Jesus Christ. Let's listen, it's full volume. I should not be able to put this. Very, very faintly. And that's the volume it's on, if I take it out. What the hell? So basically, I'm in like, fuck everything mood, I'm just gonna go to bed in a friggin' huff. Um, oh, God, bloody damn it. <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna bed. Um, yeah. That's it really. Tomorrow is equally worky, except for the fact that I also have an eight hour shift working in the middle of it. The only advantage of an eight hour shift is I don't have to work for eight hours, I've worked for seven and a half hours. So there's the, the slightest little advantage of the entire thing. And I'm going to leave that break as late as fucking possible. I'm literally just going to take it at like seven, eight o'clock if I want to and work in nine, uh, one till nine. I'm going to leave it as late as I goddamn can until I'm literally committing suicide before I go. And then as soon as everything's done, and I'm bored, I'll then go on my break, and then I'll come back one again, never saying that, because everything will be finished in the first half an hour. I'm stressed. I'm just so stressed. So stressed, and it all boils down to... It's always when Lovely goes out, isn't it? That's the, that's the reoccurring, like, thing. That's the reoccurring thing. Lovely goes out, I stress. Oh, I just wish I could be there with her. God fucking damn. Right, just fuck. Um, also, one good thing, the bank rung me with my NUS discount card. Uh, for my inconvenience, they're sending me £50, which £30 of which will cover the NUS card and £20 for the inconvenience of having to deal with it. So that's a good thing. Yeah. Although, to be fair, if their phone line was open now, I could ring them up and I'd be a right arsehole. It'd be incredible. I'd get a lot of shit done. It's the best time to ring people when you're this pissed off. But yeah, I'm going to bed. <sighs> Fucking piece of shit. Catch you later.